Shalom. Call hello, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash, that were honest to the elders and apostles of Great Stone who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. To you I say Shalom, to the Akim and to the Akwaf, that be your brothers and sisters, Adawan Ratazah, that is to say, Lord willing, hopefully by the end of this lesson, you'll be edified. This is your brother Amawan Ibad from the GMS Miami camp, back again with another lesson to the spirit and power of Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shai, to feed the lambs of Yahweh Wah, Yahweh Shai, as commanded. This lesson is going to be going into persecution. All right, how we ought to rejoice, okay? Uh, if you're persecuted for righteousness' sake, all right, or for Yahweh Shai's sake, all right? Because that's what the scriptures say. We're supposed to uh, 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 rejoice, man. Because the scriptures say, Blessed are ye. You know, when men shall revile you, you know, say all manner of evil against you falsely and persecute you, okay? Uh, these things are written in the scriptures, and we're living in the times where uh, uh, we're living in uh, evil times, man, bad times. Second Timothy 3 uh, and verse 1 says, And this know also that in the last days perilous times shall come. We're living in the perilous times, man, and, and, and the truth of the matter is being declared. And you now the scripture speaks about uh, a man being made of an, an offender for a word, you know, because we speak truth to power, all right? Um, they, 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 they're going to try to demonize. They're going to try to demonize the men of the Lord and try to persecute. As you see what's going on over there in Canada, they try to uh, uh, pass a bill, Bill uh, 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 C-367, okay, where if you read aloud out of the, out of the Bible, out of the scriptures, and they deem it to be hate speech, right? They're trying to pass a law that you can be arrested, man. So we know we're living in a time of persecution, right? The state of uh, South Dakota and Georgia, right? A uh, particular part of the scriptures, all right? Uh, <laughs> they put the laws into play that you won't be able to, to bring, bring out certain parts, certain key parts of the scriptures, man. So we clearly see we're in that time where the persecution is going to arise. Okay, I just left camp, and we was going into our uh, Revelation 12 and 12, where the devil is going to come down having great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time, and that's why they're going to come with these dr draconian type style laws. Okay, uh, Scripture speaks about uh, Isaiah 10 chapter where it goes into uh, unrighteous decrees. They're coming up with these unrighteous decrees. Why? Because the truth is coming out. The cat is already on the bag. They ain't gonna be able to stop this truth, but they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna they're gonna pass their laws and they're gonna try to the best of their ability, but at the end of the day, the Mosai is in control of all things, okay? The Mosai word, his words are, 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 are going to be uh, fulfilled, man. His words doesn't uh, turn back onto him void, as the scripture says, okay? Isaiah uh, chapter 55 and verse 11, okay? So at the end of the day, the will of the Lord is going to be done, man. We know that persecution is a part of the walk. You know, the scripture said, account the cause, you know, you got to know what you are part of, you know. But the Lord said, um, uh, 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 Lord said, who would go, uh, 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 let me go get that scripture, man, real quick. And come back to what I have here. Because you got to take a stance, man. The scripture say, um, um, uh, what's that, Joshua, the 24th chapter, okay. Choose you this day whom you will serve, man. You're going to have to make a stand. Okay, you gotta be, you gotta have to be willing to, to to preach this word, to keep the faith, and for and to stand up for righteousness' sake, man. Okay, um, I want to get that scripture, but I just realized this notification is not turned off. Let me turn off the notification real quick, uh, and we can get back to it real quick. Um, it shouldn't be long at all. Just uh, turning off this notification here. Bear with me.
Okay. All right, now here we go. We can get back to the scriptures. Now, I was going to the book of Psalms. Right? Psalms, uh, what's that, 94? Let's get the book of Psalms. Psalms 94, verse 16. Psalms 94, verse 16. And it reads, Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? This is, this is what the Lord is saying, man. Who will rise up for me against the evildoers? Or who will stand up for me against the workers of iniquity? And that's the man of the Lord, man. That's, that's what we do. Okay, we hazard our lives. Okay, for this word. The scripture say, speaks about, uh, let's see, that's Romans uh, chapter, I think it's 12. Let me go through it real quick. Romans, the 12th chapter. And the first verse, it says, I beseech you therefore, virgin, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, okay? Holy, acceptable unto the Most High, which is your reasonable service. This is our reasonable service, man, okay? The scriptures say to obey the Most High, all right? Fear the Most High and keep his commandments, which is the duty of, uh, uh, of, of, of all man, man, roughly paraphrasing, okay? Ecclesiastes chapter 12 and verse 13. Okay, so this work needs to be done. Okay, and the fact that we got to do this work. Now we're in the time where they're going to persecute the men of the Lord for doing this work because this is shining a light on the wicked. Okay, this is shining a light on the wicked. All right, the scriptures say, have, have I become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Okay, they, they, they spread lies and nothing but lies. And the fact that we bring out the truth, okay, it, it, it hurts them, it cuts them And they can't take it Therefore, they're going to come with these laws And they're going to get to the point where they draw the sword Where they're going to come after the man of the Lord Alright But um Let's get the book of Matthew, the 5th chapter Okay, this is Matthew chapter 5 And um I start at verse 10 it says, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. So the Lord said, you are blessed, man. When you, are, when you are persecuted for righteousness sake, you are blessed. Blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness sake. Right. This is revelator. This is our Lord speaking. Yahushai. It says, for, there, for there's the kingdom of heaven. Right. For there is the kingdom of heaven. Verse 11. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you falsely for my sake all right this is this is this is it's all about Yahweh Shai because the Lord told you himself the world cannot hate you but me it hated because I testify of it that the works there are by evil man all right all right they show their displeasure toward us but it's really the Lord because we we speak in the words of the Lord we're not speaking our own words right Verse 12, the point, it says, Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. So when you're persecuted or reviled, okay, for the Lord's sake, okay, it says to rejoice, man. Rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven, for so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. So this is not nothing new. You see, this ain't nothing new. This ain't nothing new, man. The Lord said, uh, 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 says to be faithful, be faithful unto death and I'll give you a crown of life. So even if you put to death for this truth, man, we know through the, through, through the spare and power of Yahweh, uh, Shimei, uh, 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 those that die in Yahweh, they're going to be raised up first, man, to go, to go on them chariots. Okay? And we understand uh, 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 we understand that you don't you you don't really die, man, because the scriptures say all all lives on to the Most High. All lives before the Lord, because He's the Father of spirits. Your spirit never die. Your spirit goes back to the Heavenly Father who gave it, man. So you, what, you, what you would be doing is just resting, okay? But what 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 is what is left here, man? This is just a 
It's just pollution, man. The scriptures call this place pollution, man. It's polluted, man. Micah 2 and 10, arise ye therefore and be converted. All right? For this is not your rest. For it is polluted. And it will destroy you even with a saw of destruction, man. So what do we have to gain here, man? The scriptures say, uh, uh, what shall a man... Uh, 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 let me go to that scripture real quick, huh? You know, because the scripture speaks about those who shall uh, seek to, to, to save their life, they shall lose it. And those who lose their life for, for Yahweh Shai's sake, for my name's sake, meaning our Lord, they shall find it, man. So this is why you got to detach from the matrix, man. Okay? But um, I think that's Matthew chapter 16. Uh, Matthew chapter 16. Right, verse 25. For whosoever will save his life shall lose it. And whosoever will lose his life for my sake shall find it. Verse 26. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world? Right. And lose his own soul. Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? You see? You, 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 you got you to gotta get into these scriptures and understand, man. At the end of the day, it would behoove you to serve the Lord, man. To fall into the hands of the living power, man, rather than men. You see? So, <laughs> it's, no, it's no going around it, man. At the end of the day, we know persecution is going to come. So, let me go from there real quick and go to the book of uh, Matthew, the 24th chapter. This is Matthew chapter 24. And uh, verse Matthew chapter twenty four. Want to get a uh, bear with me here? I'm looking for the verse. That's a 21 I want. Luke 21. So like here. Let me see something. Bear with me. Okay. Luke. Uh, Luke 21. So like here. I said Matthew. I wanted Luke. Uh, Luke 21. And verse 12, it says, But therefore, all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my name's sake. Right, because we are the witnesses, man. We we have the testimony of our Lord Yahushai. Okay, the testimony of our Lord Yahushai is the spirit of prophecy, man. Our, our Revelation 19 and verse 10. Okay, the testimony of our Lord is the prayer of prophecy. All right, and we, we, have, we have the same mind. Okay, we have the mind of a Mashiach, the scripture says. All right, so we, 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 we speak of the prophecies of this book, man, so we are the witnesses. And this is the reason why they're going to come at the man of the Lord. Let me read it again, Luke 21 and verse 12. Before all these, they shall lay their hands on you and persecute you. So we know persecution is going to come. Delivering, delivering you up to the synagogues and into prisons, being brought before kings and rulers for my namesake. Now, this is not going to be every, bro every brother's situation. You know? This is just for whom the Lord had written that lot for. You know? Whatever lot is your lot, you know, you're going to have to go through it. But this is not for every brother, but some brothers are going to be persecuted. Some brothers are going to be, uh, 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 going to, uh, uh, you know, give up their life for this truth. You know, um, it says, verse 13, remember, great is the reward in heaven, man. All right. It says, and, 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 and verse 13, and it shall turn to you for a testimony, right? Because we are the witnesses, right? It says, verse 14, settle it, therefore, in your hearts, not to meditate before what ye shall answer. So the Lord said, don't even worry about it. Don't think about what you will say if it happened to you, if you was to be arrested, okay? All right, and brought before the, uh, before rulers, all right? Verse 15, it says, for I will give you a mouth 
and wisdom which your adversaries shall not be able to gainsay nor resist. So the Lord is gonna, the Lord is gonna give you uh, the words to speak through the spirit, man, to the spirit of the Abba Shimei Oshai. That's why you don't have to worry about it. You don't have to meditate about it. And these things that you you must have, you must know. You see, you must know that persecution is gonna come. It could, it could possibly, possibly be you. Okay, that's why the scriptures say to count the cost. All right, and just as well as it might not be you, you just have to. Uh, uh, trust in your heart, Bashim Shai. Okay, as the scripture said, lean, trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean upon thy own understanding. Acknowledge him in all thy ways and he shall direct thy path. Proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5. You're just going to have to continue to, to trust in your heart, Bashim Shai. And let him make sure he's your shield, your buckler, your everything, man. All right, your refuge, your rock. Okay, just continue to trust in the Lord, man, and, and give it to him, man. Let him, let him, let him lead you. Okay, let him lead the way. But in the meantime, you're going to have to, that faith is going to be required of you to show forth that faith, man. All right? But at the end of the day, we know persecution is going to come. You just have to have the mindset uh, of knowing that Yahweh Bashim Yahshai is in control of all things, man. The Most High is in control of all. All right? So knowing that, you know, <laughs> just just keep the faith, man, and trust in Yahweh Bashim Yahshai. So I'm going to end the video there, giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai, by Hashem, Rekakwadash. Double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, who taught me this truth and rule well. Salutation and citations to the brothers out there that are laboring and pushing this truth in truth and in sincerity and in charity, risking their lives and their freedom to do so. And if I hadn't, if I hadn't said so earlier, this is, this is a, an in transit. So until the next time, Shalom.